I think we do have a handle on the wheel of the universe by focusing on localization and focusing on small steps that we can take to improve our immediate perceivable vicinity. Those small steps are levers which are tied to greater mass actions. Um, so I do think that activism and practical um, application of ideals in your immediate vicinity um, are a way of working magic. I think that our mistake comes from thinking that we are marginal actors and that our marginal difference doesn't make any difference when added to the reservoir containing the sum of mass actions. But actually, um, from what I'm reading, the individual participation is paramount to creating a more cooperative ideal universe. I do have a critique of the algorithm for bodhisattvas attain uh, attaining Buddhahood. And that is the, that I don't think that you should necessarily become entirely detached. I think that the, so much that you deny um, representations of the spiritual that approach you as opportunities in the so-called flesh. Um, I think that it is good to remove negative emotions and negative um, cycles of worry, but I don't think that fear of losing Buddhahood is sufficient um, ethically for lack of action when addressing the ills that you see around you. Um, I think that we can enter into a dialogue with the immediate ills that we see around us in a loving manner um, and see them as representations of the greater struggle. Not that um, one should denounce the perceivable ills or perceived ills or assumed ills around, but enter in a dialogue with them and say, why is it that you're doing this? And think about it and try to change your mindset such that you can perform ethical actions without abdicating responsibility. Um, but without feeling ill about the responsibility. Um, we shouldn't feel so responsible that we feel enmeshed and immobilized by a net of responsibility. So the words um, the society I perceive puts on what I'm going through now is the beginning of another mania and they appear to be getting more and more frequent. Um, but I'm hoping that I can change my mindset and the universe's mindset such that um, I can walk with one foot in one world and one foot in the other um, rather than medicate my um, cognition out of existence because I do think that altered perception um, can be intuitively linked to a greater real reality. Um, and this reality is full of meaning for me and seems very responsive to my thought. And um, the greatest worry that I have about this altered state is that of causing uh, Smith and my mother pain. So I'm hoping that I can still be operable as far as work responsibilities go. Um, and that's the reality that I would like to choose for myself, to still be able to have this rich insight, yet to, oh, be able to work and yet to not worry about things more than I need to. To um, be in rapture of mania is to be in rapture of a seemingly temporary universe that the mind creates. Um, everything seems like a miracle. Oh, these look like stones, but they're dog food. Wow. I almost bought a Nike shirt that said, just do it. But of course I'm like, 
kind of biased against Nike for using child labor, etc., etc. However, I still think that the wisdom of Just Do It is good and applicable, independent of its associations with Nike. Um, so, as far as like personal interactivity with the universe, I would just like go outside and do it rather than like postulate about it or worry about it. Um, and I think the best thing to do is go outside and like touch concrete, an ancient material which has been in use by mankind for thousands of years. Um, you know, touch things and talk to things, but don't touch poison ivy. Broken glass, broken windows, broken windows. Candles are filled with rainwater today. I wonder who Benny is. What if you are ultimately responsible, not marginally responsible, but ultimately responsible? If you were ultimately responsible, what would you choose? Would you choose fame or would you choose an equitable existence for all entities? I think what I'd choose is self-determination in a loving society where people don't feel abandoned. Um, that's what I would choose. And in a loving universe, I would choose magic and all kinds of crazy possibilities. Like on a spiritual plane, like, man, I would frame it so that all kinds of possibilities were possible. And, um, you know, with a little bit of ethics thrown in. But, um, that would be a really cool ride. I was thinking, I'm not sure I believe in objective reality, but I sure as hell believe in this. Look at this little bugger. What a miracle. I might take him off the road. Ooh. Very interesting to me the way these things on the roof curl around like candy canes. I don't know if you can actually see them. Um, and um, these plants out here, also along this building, curl around like candy canes. I'm really hoping that Smith doesn't really want me to make or take medicine because I really want to live in a world free of worry. I'm not able to function um, for my best happiness when I'm worrying all the time about strategic thinking, business, the future. I just want to be able to do my day-to-day -day programming tasks and I want to live a little bit worry-free, you know, just worry as much as I have to, um, not needlessly. I am taking lithium orotate, which was recommended to me by a friend of a friend who has bipolar, and um, I think I'm okay on it, so we'll see how this goes.